What's going on guys? Today we got something even crazier than yesterday and we got that dynamic audio, dynamic commentary video. It's about 5-6 minutes long, I'm about to show you that and then when it's over again I'm just going to give my input so here you guys go, enjoy this. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. They've been great about, about working with me and trying to make sure that we get the kind of cadence that's necessary to make it sound like it's a real game. And, and again, the brilliance of the people that, that, that put the game together able to make that work and sound like it's this real broadcast, which is amazing to me. Chris, the front court matchup. It's pretty intriguing tonight. Oh, it's going to be a lot more contact. Pushing, shoving, battling for position. It's not a place for the faint of heart. And Durant gives you such a huge target on alley -oops. I mean, just beautiful. Oh, Harden is so good at finishing these hand ones. I mean, he is just a thorn in the D side. How's that for in your face? Draymond shrugging off the defensive pressure. And Smitty, great to have you in the booth here. A former NBA All-Star, NBA champion. It's a different dynamic getting a chance to um, obviously broadcast and play. Now I'm mixing both of them and getting a chance to be a voice of the game. So I'm excited. When you were a young player in the league and taking on the great legends of the 90s, were there any games where you were just in awe of who you were on the court facing? A lot, Kevin, but some names that come to mind was first Michael Jordan. Going up against the great Michael Jordan. A lot of people say they played against Michael, but he... Oh, oh you watch your head! It's a beautiful chance. I love seeing Chris Paul come alive on these possessions. One of the top ball handlers in this league, Kyrie can make you look outright foolish. Paul George, I like the way he can pull up the jump shots at his size. Then there are those other ones which run, put on the brakes, and fire away. It's, I was it's, never one of those guys. I didn't have good brakes. <laughs> you know your brakes. You did not have the disc brakes, did you? No, not the at all. The brakes are out. Nope, no. gone. Pad on pad. <laughs> <laughs> well, these teams are having a hard time coming up with wins. Brent, can a losing streak like this get in a team's head? Oh, it can get in your head. It can get in your car. It can get into your <laughs> jeans. It, it's all over the place, Kevin. So, you know, one good game can turn around a month of your season, one good month can turn around your entire season. We'll see if it starts here tonight. I think the way that 2K goes about making this game, the type of consideration that they have, they get it right. Lillard from outside drills the three-pointer. Keep thinking that he can't shoot it from there and he'll prove you wrong. Lillard lost one of those high arching bombs. Oh, he blocks it off the glass, wow. Phenomenal defense by Anthony Davis to spike that shot back. Oh, and the putback by Whiteside. Love the effort from Whiteside there to stay after it and slam that one back off the miss. You look at the players, Doris, a little extra bounce in their step, I would say. Oh, no, quite. This is what we've all been waiting for. Quote, the friendlies are no longer. <laughs> the gloves have come off. It's time to perform. It's no different than when I'm doing the job on TV. People are fabulous. Um, they make the experience fun and engaging. Carl Anthony Towns again. This is one of the better catch and shoot bigs in the NBA already. Towns doing everything these days. Uh, looking like a running back. Back in the open field, Bledsoe always a threat to convert in transition. You know, that's just the power and strength from Anthony, able to take the hit and still play through it. Oh, what a play by Simmons. Can't shake Simmons. He is very used to getting hit. Just plays right through the contact. And with Ingram, he can score from anywhere. His jump shot is money, and his drives to the hoop, they're lethal. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Guys, Chicago is one of the league's biggest markets, but it still has that blue-collar culture. Take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. We got a chance to get a great road win right now. You're passing the ball, great to start. Keep pushing the tempo. Get back, set our defense. It's our energy that got us back in the game. Right now is when we talk on every screen down here. Listen, we can't miss a shot and then give up two layups. It can't happen. Hey, we had a good start. We can get right back on it. Every time we got to get back and stop the basketball. We welcome you back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny. With this one in the books, we've got a special post-game guest joining us. Now, how'd you get in that kind of zone? Uh, you know, I, I don't think it was really about me at all, man. How happy are you with the way you guys battle inside? I'm pretty happy, man. You know, we want to be a team that sets the tone by the way we attack the glass. Did you feel he was barbecue chicken trying to guard you down there on the post? 
Of course I did, Shaq. Come on, son. You gotta feed the hot hand. And that's usually me. You know what I'm saying, Kenny? I do know what you're saying, but the hot hand can't be greedy, my man. <laughs> What's going through the players' minds yeah, right guys, now? Yeah, guys, excited to be here. All the hard work that they put into the season has led up to this. Hey, because they're on a quest. Quest. To be the best. Best. To reach the final destination. Destination. Yeah, yeah. Because no matter what. No matter what. The teams need. Need. To be congratulated. Congratulated. For making it this far. Far. Baby. Baby. Making it this far. Baby. For making it this far. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> so I have a lot to say on this topic. This is so interesting. Something that's never been done. What do they say? 11 different commentators in the game. That is just mind-blowing. Like, I watched a video about a 2K wish list, and this was actually on it. They said, you know, make the commentary diverse. Maybe add some new ones, replace the old ones, just add two more. But they went fucking all out. I mean, they added nine. We only had two. No, sorry. They added eight. We had three commentators. We have three commentators every single year. And we got Doris Burke. So I guess that's four. And Because Doris Burke is actually in this one. She's actually commentating and not just being that sideline reporter that she used to be. Now, we got 11. And you saw them throughout the video. People like Chris Webber and Steve Smith and Brent Berry and David Aldridge. Like... We got some big names. I mean, not only big names, but also guys that everybody, like, we know. They, they commentate on TV. We watch the games, and they're there the commentating. This is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I honestly love this. Now, I don't know if this improves the commentary. I know it really makes it diverse. I like that. I don't like really hearing the same guys saying the same things every single game. But it definitely does help that they add more audio and course we got more people and obviously the people aren't going to have the same lines like it's not like kevin harlan sorry it's not like clark kellogg and i don't know brent barry have the exact same lines we're gonna that's gonna diversify the audio and what they're saying in the game so that's actually really nice and i like that so i'm just i just want to see how it flows because I hope that they have enough lines for everyone in the game. The Greg Anthony thing, they did it last year. They took Steve Kerr out the game. They put Craig a Greg Anthony in, and that actually worked really well. It's not, it didn't seem like there was a a, a, a lack of words and language that, that Greg Anthony was using. It seemed like he was just he was flowing pretty well. I didn't really see any problems with that. So now we got more commentary, and I hope that just like last year, it flows well, and this is pretty nice. I like this still. I mean, th we do see a little bit of gameplay in this, which is kind of nice. I did see that stupid step back jumper by Danilo Gallinari in there. I didn't like that. I kind of I kind of cringed when I saw that, to be honest. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. And um, yeah, this is looking pretty dope. I just we didn't really get to see like a five on five gameplay. We never really get to see got to saw fuck am I talking about? We never really got to see that. So that's like, I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm going to be playing it tomorrow. So there's going to be videos for NBA 2K17, my career, tomorrow on the channel. I guarantee you guys, it's going to be lit as fuck. So I can't wait for that. Tonight, I'm dropping my retirement. It seems only right. I had to put it up. So that's going to be coming out a little bit later. This has been your boy, Kit Taj. Oh, my goodness. I'm so hyped for this game. I cannot wait until tonight to play this shit. And I am out. Please like this shit up. Comments, ideas, which you will not need very much longer maybe in the time between i finish the prelude and i get the game uh but other than that yeah just subscribe and i'm out thanks for watching y'all peace